Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I am going to be doing the ultimate Harry Potter book tag. Now, you probably know that I am a huge fan of Harry Potter by now. I was tagged to do this by Nick at Remus Reads, so I will leave her channel down below. And I'm just going to get right on into the tag right after I show you what I'm wearing to film this film. I'm wearing my Hufflepuff t-shirt, well, a Hufflepuff slash Tangled crossover t-shirt because Rapunzel is definitely a Hufflepuff. And I mentioned in my last Harry Potter video, this is another excuse to wear my time tenor necklace. So I'm wearing it and I will get right on into the tag now. The first question is what is my favorite book? And this is an easy question for me. It is Prisoner of Azkaban, book three. This is the point of the series where I feel things get a little bit more grown up and the whole theme of change and transformation, not just physical transformations with the animagi and the werewolves, but also the emotional changes and transformations that comes with being 13 in this book. It's, it works on so many levels, I feel, and also we're introduced to two awesome characters, Lupin and Sirius. So yeah, Prisoner of Azkaban is definitely, definitely my favourite book. The next question is my least favourite book and this is a hard question because I love all of them obviously but I think I'm going to have to go for book five, Order of the Phoenix. Now this is the biggest book and it took me forever to get through because I feel it starts off pretty slow. Um, obviously it gets loads and loads better, some terrible, terrible tragic things happen at the end of this book um, but it started off really slow for me and although it's awesome obviously and I've still read it multiple times um, it's it's my least favorite so yeah the next question is what is my favorite film and again it is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban not only obviously it's the same story and the same characters as the book of the film but also this is directed by Afonso Cuaron who He's, this is the only Harry Potter film that he directed and as a result I feel that it stands out in the series. There's a lot of beautiful, beautiful shots of the British countryside in this film and it just kind of lends itself to the beauty of this film. I, this, is, this film is, I think, the most visually appealing as well as the best story. So yeah, that's my favourite film. The next question is my least favourite film and this is again a hard question because they're all amazing but it is film two the chamber of secrets and the reason being is this film scares me so so much even now every time i watch it i am terrified of this film and i'm not even scared of spiders i, I do hate snakes so maybe that's why um but yeah i know it's only a pg and some of the later ones are 12 but to me this this film is terrifying so yeah, it's my least favourite film. I mean, I, I, I do like being scared sometimes. I, I read a lot of horror and stuff, but that's why it's, I can still say it's awesome, but it's, it's terrifying. This film is scary. The next question is my favourite quote, and that is an easy one for me, even though there are, of course, some amazing, amazing quotes from the wonderful J.K. Rowling, but my favourite is, happiness can be found in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light. That quote on its own has got me through so much stuff in my life and whenever I watch the film of Prisoner of Azkaban which is the film that Dumbledore says it in I just hear Michael Gambon's voice saying it and it just calms me down so so much and it gives me so much hope and so much happiness and that's generally what the Harry Potter series does for me it's got me through some incredibly incredibly dark times and that quote is just perfect for helping me turn on the light and be happy again so yeah, that is my favourite quote. The next question is, who is my favourite Weasley? Now that is a really, really hard question because obviously the Weasley family are amazing and they are awesome, awesome people. But I think my favourite has to be Mr. Ronald Weasley. He's an incredibly loyal friend. He provides a lot of the humour in the series and I mean, he's awesome, isn't he? He's Ron Weasley. I think also in the books, Ginny is a, on a par with him. In the films, definitely, definitely Ron. But yeah, in the books, possibly Ginny. So yeah, favorite Weasley, Weasley is Ron. So yeah. The next question is, who's my favorite female character? And it is, is of course the awesome, the amazing Hermione Granger. She, I feel, 
is my most long-standing best friend ever in the whole entire world. When I first read the first book, Philosopher's Stone, I was eight or nine years old and she was like a kind of aspirational big sister who I looked up to and we grew up together, I feel, me and Hermione and by the end of the series she was my best friend and she still is today one of my best friends, so yeah, female character. Very closely followed by Luna Lovegood, of course, because I mean, who doesn't love Luna Lovegood? She's awesome in so many ways. The next question is, who is my favourite male character? I've just said, obviously, I love Ron, but I think my favourite male character overall has to be Remus Lupin. He is an incredible, incredible man. He's a great mental figure, and he's just so loyal and so brave and so so intelligent and I feel you could learn so much from Professor Lupin, you really really could and obviously he's great to Harry, he was always very loyal to James and Lily and I would just, I would love to have known a man like him, so yeah, Professor Lupin. My favourite villain is the next question and that has to be Bellatrix because I feel she's incredibly sassy, she's incredibly bad ass, of course she's incredibly dark and evil and she does terrible terrible things but I kind of feel like I could use some of Bellatrix's strength and some of her kind of oomph and her her passion I guess and yeah so Bellatrix is my favourite villain. The next question is who is my favourite professor? I think I've probably just said Professor Lupin I also love Professor Snape, I love his character development over the whole series, I think that's just awesome. I love how he goes from the kind of shady, mysterious guy to ultimately just a guy who was in love, like crazy, forever eternal love, so yeah. But probably Professor Lupin, but maybe Professor Snape, so yeah. The next question is, would I rather wash Snape's hair or listen to Gilderoy Lockhart talk about himself? I think I'd rather wash Snape's hair because, I mean, I absolutely adore Kenneth Branagh and I actually think he should have been in more Harry Potter films. I think he, he was awesome to play Lockhart, definitely. He did an amazing job. But I just can't stand people like Lockhart, as I think, obviously, nobody can. <laughs> and therefore, I just wouldn't want to spend any time with him. So I think I would rather wash Snape's hair and chat to him about love and life and stuff like that. So, yeah. The next question is, would I rather duel an angry Molly Weasley or Bellatrix? And I think this has to be Bellatrix because life and experience has told me that there is nothing scarier than an angry mother. Not even Death Eaters. So, yeah, Bellatrix. The next question is, would I rather travel by Hogwarts Express or by car? Easy question again, Hogwarts Express. I would love the cosy calmness of the Hogwarts Express over that really terrifying flying car any day. That did not seem like fun at all. Definitely not my thing, not going in for that. The next question is, would I rather kiss Voldemort or share a bubble bath with Professor Umbridge? It's gonna have to be to kiss Voldemort because Umbridge is just the worst person. I would not want to spend any time with her. I do not want to be in any kind of close proximity to her. Yes, I would rather kiss the Dark Lord and be anywhere near that woman, so yes. The next question is, would I rather ride a hippogriff or a firebolt? And I think it has to be a hippogriff because I know to a lot of people, riding broomsticks and playing Quidditch and stuff sounds like so much fun, but to me, it is scary. I do not like heights that much, but I, I wouldn't feel safe on a broomstick because I know that I would be in control, And but that doesn't really reassure me for some reason. But me being in control, I don't really trust myself in, in, to control a... A, a something that's going to kill me, so it's it's why I don't like driving, that's why I, I don't really want to take my driving test, so yeah, I would rather be on a creature that I trusted, like Buckbeak, and so therefore, yes, I would rather ride a hippogriff. The next question is, is there a character you feel differently about in the books to the movies? Yes, Draco Malfoy. I much prefer Draco in the films. In the books, I find him a little bit annoying and self-absorbed and pretentious and I know that's what Draco ultimately is but I feel Tom Felton in the films did a really good job of presenting him as actually just a normal boy who feels the pressure from his parents to go down the path that they want him to and yeah I, that came across better in the films for me so yeah Draco I feel he's a lot more likeable in the films. The next question is is there a film you prefer to the book? 
yes, The Order of the Phoenix. This film is better than its book, I feel. Um, I don't really know why. I think the, the scene of Sirius's death in this is just incredible. I love the way it's done in this film. It's just where it's all silent and you just hear Harry screaming and it's just so emotional. It's, it's just incredible. And yeah, I, I really like this film actually. And as I said, Order of the Phoenix is my least favorite book. So yeah, Order of the Phoenix. The next question is Richard Harris or Michael Gambon? Michael Gambon, I think. Um, yeah, obviously I loved Richard Harris and he's like the original first Dumbledore, but I think Gambondor wins this one, I'm afraid. So, yeah. The next question is, is the most annoying thing that's in the book that isn't in the films? As in, the thing that I was most annoyed was not brought from the books into the film. And I think that is the character of Peeves. I cannot believe that they completely, completely just washed over Peeves and he doesn't exist in the film world. That sucks. <laughs> it really, really does. Also, the thing that annoys me is the absence of Spew, Society for the Promotion of Elfish Welfare. Why isn't that in the films? Why? It's it's a huge, huge, huge part of Hermione's character development and it really, really... It should have had at least a couple of mentions in the Goblet of Fire, I feel. They really, really, really should have slipped that in. They really should have done, so... Yeah. Peeves and Spew is what I'm most annoyed were not in the films. If I could remake any of the films, would you? Yes, I'd put some spew in Goblet of Fire. Um, I wouldn't remake the whole film because I think it's it's quite a well done film. Um, but yeah, yeah, definitely. I would put both of Peeves and Peeves in, obviously from the beginning, Philosopher's Stone. And um, he would definitely, definitely appear in the scene where, um, yeah, Order of the Phoenix, where the Weasley twins fly into the exam hall and throw all their products around. Peeves would definitely be in on that, so yeah so peeves and spew um what house did i think i would be in i wasn't sure i felt maybe ravenclaw because of the book stuff but then i thought possibly possibly hufflepuff um because i don't know i think i'm generally quite nice and loyal and friendly and all that stuff so yeah i did i did think possibly ravenclaw but i did kind of think i'd be in hufflepuff what house am i in I'm in Hufflepuff. Of course I'm in Hufflepuff. This is my t-shirt. This is my awesome, awesome Hufflepuff mug. Oh, it's the wrong way around. I have to show it. Turn it around to see you. Yes, this is my loyal Badger mug. I got this at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour, by the way, if you haven't been. Sincerely, sincerely recommend it because it is just amazing. It really is. Even if you've been before, go again because it's still just as amazing. The next one is what class would be my favourite and I don't actually know, I mean maybe Transfiguration sounds pretty cool, um, possibly Charms because then you learn a lot of sort of cute little little spells and stuff, um, Care of Magical Creatures maybe because I do love animals and therefore I would love to learn about awesome magical creatures so yeah there's a selection there, pick one. Um, which spell would I find most useful? Accio, definitely, because I'm incredibly lazy and I would just love to wave my wand and have whatever I want just come to me so I wouldn't have to go over and get it. So, yeah. Also, Alohomora, obviously, because I like looking behind locked doors. I'm nosy. So, yeah. Which character would I be instant friends with? I would like to think Hermione because I feel like we have a lot in common. Um, also Luna, I feel, because when I was at school, I was a little bit like Luna. I mean, I wasn't quite as weird as her, but I, I was I was a little bit eccentric and a little bit odd, I guess. So I feel like me and Luna could probably relate on that and get along. So, yeah. My favourite Hallow is definitely the invisibility cloak, because whenever anyone asks me what superpower would you rather have... I always, always say that I would rather have invisibility because I love the idea of spying on people. I love the idea of sneaking around, people not knowing I'm there and just finding stuff out. I love finding stuff out. So yeah, definitely invisibility cloak. What is an aspect of the books that I change? Um, possibly 
I'm going to suggest something that's probably quite an unpopular opinion, but I don't think I would put Ron and Hermione together. And I know that when J.K. Rowling spoke out about this, she kind she said she kind of regretted putting Ron and Hermione together. And I I agree with her for the same reasons. I don't think Hermione. I don't think Ron is good enough for Hermione. Not good enough, but I don't think Ron gives Hermione enough. I feel she needs someone to give her more. She needs more from a guy, if you know what I mean. Um, I mean, obviously I love Ron, but I, just, I don't think he's right for her. I think they're better off as friends. I know that that's probably a really unpopular opinion. But you know what? Joe agrees with me, so there you go. So, I mean, I, I probably... Yeah... That's what I changed about the books, to be honest. My favourite mar marauder is definitely Professor Lupin, which I think I've said before. Um, yeah, but Sirius is cool too. So, yeah, either of those, I would say. If I could bring any character back, who would it be? Definitely Fred Weasley. That was a completely, completely pointless death. Did not need to happen. But you know what? Neither did Lupin's death, neither, neither did Tonks's death, neither did Dobby's death, or Hedwig's death. Hedwig's death, oh my god. Uh, when I first read Deathly Hallows, I was like, what, what are you doing to me? This is right at the beginning of the book, you have killed a beautiful, beautiful animal. Why? Why, Joe? Why did, Hedwig didn't need to die. She really, really didn't. She was awesome and an incredibly loyal animal, so, yeah. Any of those that I've just mentioned, yeah. And the final question is Hallows or Horcruxes? Um, to have myself, I think I would rather have a Hallow. I would rather have the Invisibility Cloak than have a Horcrux because um, the idea of immortality or anything close to immortality just doesn't appeal to me at all. Um, never has. I, I, I'm not going to say I want to die, but I don't like the idea of living forever but nobody I love also living forever. So, yeah. To have, I would rather have a hallow, preferably the invisibility cloak, or I'd rather actually have a full set of hallows than have a horcrux. But to read about and to experience, like, as a reader, horcruxes are more interesting, obviously, to read about because of the whole thing of what they are. But to have myself, I would rather have a full set of hallows than have a horcrux. So, yeah. And that is the Harry Potter, ultimate Harry Potter tag. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am going to tag all of you. So if you want to do this tag, if you are a awesome Potterhead, then I recommend doing this tag because I've had loads and loads of fun. So yes, and I will leave all of my social media down below. The, my Harry Potter giveaway is available until the 18th of February, so you can go watch this video, which I will also link down below. I'm giving away a little package of Harry Potter stuff, so if you are interested, you need to subscribe to my channel and comment on that video with who your favorite Harry Potter character is and why. And I will leave all of my social media down below as normal, and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.